The scariest thing about a triple backflip on spot is probably finding all the different ways that the hardware can fail in these scenarios and finding ways to mitigate them is probably the scariest and hardest part about a triple backflip. I'm Arun Kumar. I am on the spot behavior team and right now I'm doing reinforcement learning research for spot. Spot has a lot of behaviors that are useful, like it could walk upstairs, it could open doors, it could take a picture of a small gauge from like 50 yards out. And we need a coordination system to chain all those behaviors together. Our control software needs to know how to move all the motors so Spot walks smoothly. Our perception software needs to understand information from the camera and allow Spot to navigate through a factory. We want to be able to fully utilize the hardware. That means we want to be able to exert as much force as the motors can possibly deliver, and we need to do that reliably. Obviously, doing a backflip is not something that our customers need. They might want it for fun, but they don't need it. But there are situations where we need to utilize the motors and the power system to its full potential. Spot usually carries around a lot of heavy payloads. It has a camera that weighs about 20 pounds. Some robots have arms on them. When those robots are on customer sites, sometimes they slip, sometimes they trip. And to recover, you need to exert a lot of power to reliably recover. If our robots know how to fully utilize their hardware, we can make robots that are better at recovering from slips, better at recovering when they trip on some stairs. Spot wasn't designed to do a backflip. My team didn't even think that it could do a standing backflip before I started working on this. So for Spot, it took a while because we had to operate at the extremes of the hardware. We had to deal with all the hardware complications that could come with that. Also, the dynamics of the robot are different when you're operating at the limits, and you have to model that in simulation. You want the simulation to be as true to the physical hardware. You don't want your policy to do something in simulation that the physical hardware can't do. Reinforcement learning is a type of machine learning that involves an agent in an environment. So in simulation, we have the robot, which is the agent, and we simulate some environment for the robot. And for every action that the agent makes, the robot makes, it receives a reward. And over time, we train neural networks to maximize the reward. And ironically, it's a lot like training a dog. Like if I tell my dog to sit, it hears the command sit, it sits down, and I'll give my dog a treat as a reward. For these behaviors, really we're just tracking a reference. We have an animation of Spot doing a backflip and we want Spot to follow that animation as closely as possible so it does a backflip. Yes! <laughs> to prepare for a live performance, it really just means we have to do a lot of robustness testing. So as soon as something works in sim, we'll deploy it on the hardware. It never works first time on the hardware. It's gonna fail somehow. Anytime something fails, we generate a log of everything that the robot observed during the failure, try to find why the robot failed, we fix that issue, then we repeat the cycle. Run it on hardware, find the next failure, debug it, fix it, run it on hardware. And the more you do that, the more reliable your behaviors will be. I don't know if I could remember all the behaviors that I programmed off the top of my head. There was a backflip, triple backflip, quintuple backflip, seven backflips, is that a septuple backflip? I was shocked when I was asked to create behaviors for America's Got Talent. All of my work at this company has been for industrial inspection. So it was always about like walking the robot around the factory, taking the right picture at the right time, reliably making it back to the dock. I've never been given a project where it's like, throw this robot around and make it work. So that was, that was exciting and fun. I'm excited to see what Spot does next. Oh God. Oh God. Stop. <laughs>